How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory here on our FIFA mobile channel. I uh, hope you guys have all had a good bank holiday Monday if you're from the UK. Uh, if you're not from the UK, I hope you guys had a good weekend, I guess. Uh, so we're back guys with what I believe is going to be the last ever Player of the Month tournament. We all thought that last month was going to be the last one, uh, but EA did tweet two days ago that a brand new Player of the Month was going to be released. And uh, as you can see here, Player of the Month August is 97 rated Banega, uh, which I actually have enough uh, to claim him. So I probably am going to claim him there. 97 rated central midfielder, Argentinian from Sevilla um, in the La Liga. Box-to-box uh, -box midfielder, which is a, quite a meta skill boost for a centre mid. Uh, people either want box-to-box -box on a centre mid or they want captain. So it's a very good skill boost for him. Five-star weak foot, 104 pace, 104 shooting, 113 passing, 119 agility. All of those stats are absolutely brilliant. Um, and 93 defending and 94 physical. That is a very, very nice, well-rounded centre midfield card. Um, so looking at the stats affected by the skill boost then, we have 100 sprint speed, 125 long shots, 108 agility, 130 reactions and 113 balance. Uh, and some nice strength there and aggression. 104 strength is very nice indeed. So uh, if you're looking for a new centre mid, guys, he's 97 rated uh, with a little bit of XP. You'll be able to get him up to that 100 overall. Um, I think I'm actually going to claim him today, guys. Uh, I've got 120 player of the month tokens available. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last player of the month. Uh, football season has finished. Uh, the new... Premier League season is literally just round the corner. I don't actually know what the dates are saying for other leagues in the world. Um, but I know the Premier League is starting very, very soon. So I know the player of the month now has been out for four minutes. But let me just go ahead to the market and go to sell him. And let me just see what price is coming up. 15 million. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to try and sell him for three mil. If he goes for three mil, I will take it because he'll be... Much, much cheaper than that. Uh, literally, probably in about an hour, if that actually. Probably even about 10 minutes time, he'll be much cheaper. Um, so, as far as the Player of the Month goes, guys, we've pretty much covered it. It's the world's shortest video today. Um, there isn't too much exciting to report. Uh, let's just... What is this? That's interesting. I mean, if I'd have seen that before I went ahead and purchased Banega, I mean, actually, do you know what? I still would have purchased him. So, for five Player of the Month points, guys, you can get 50,000 coins. Uh, for ten, 10 Player of the Month points gets you 50 skill boosts. What a load of... That is awful. That's absolutely awful. Oh, come on, EA, really? The season's almost done, and they're giving you 50,000 coins, 50 skill boosts. I... Surely these are unlimited. Okay, it does look like you can do these an unlimited amount of times. 25,000 training XP for 15. Uh, 30, you can get a Team of the Week starter. Or for 50, you can get yourselves a guaranteed 80-plus Team of the Week elite player. I mean, the player ones aren't too bad, I guess, if you get lucky. I mean, I mean... It's disappointing that it's only 50,000 coins, 50 skill boosts. So, for a 97 rated player of the month, Banega, you can either get a 97 rated centre mid, whose stats do look very good, with very good skill boost, or, alternatively, for the exact same price, you could get 500 skill boosts. Um... I don't think those skill boosts are worth that, guys. I would much rather take the player. Even if he doesn't go into your starting squad like he isn't going to be doing for me, there's still so many other things you can do with him. Uh, you know, whether it's use him for rank-ups, use him in SBCs, uh, use him in some way. Don't take those 500 skill boosts. Um, you can, yeah, you can't. Wow, okay, right, fair enough. 
I thought Player of the Month Exchange, guys, because we knew this was coming. EA did tell us last month that they were going to be releasing something to spend your Player of the Month points on uh, resources, I think was the, the word they used. I thought it was going to be better than that. I'm not going to lie. That is really, really, really disappointing. Uh, right, so... In regards to Benega then, 26 matches uh, gets you 100 player of the month tokens. Uh, I've already claimed Benega, so it's completely pointless. A million coins and three global team of the week elite players. My, uh, my pack luck from the player of the month tournament every month from my rewards is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, but that, guys, unfortunately, is going to be wrapping up the video very, very quickly. Um... Because there isn't much more um, to, to talk about. Obviously, over the next two days, uh, I'll be showing you how I did do in the Player of the Month tournament. And uh, like I always do in that rewards video, I'll be showing you guys my last three games live on video. Hopefully, we can get... Hey, hang on, did he sell? Did he sell whilst I was talking? Oh, no. Thought we'd gone out. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but yeah. Sorry guys, it's a short video today. There isn't too much to talk about. The last ever 97 rated player of the month, Benega. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Are you going to be unlocking Benega for 100 t uh, player of the month points? Or are you going to be going for the resources, whether it's player, uh, players, coins, XP, or skill boosts? Hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.